Good morning. Good to be with you again this morning and uh, continuing to build on the four pillars of a healthy Christian business leader. The four pillars are healthy relationships, biblical financial values, biblical spirituality, and balanced living. This week, um, we're focusing on pillar number three, uh, which is biblical spirituality. And the series for this week is simply called, um, What is Worship? And so that's going to be the focus this week. And uh, so thinking about that, um, I thought I would start off with kind of like the, to me, one of the most significant passages in the Bible that talk about worship. And uh, it's found in Romans chapter 12, um, verse 1 in particular, verse 2 is really part of that. So I'm going to read that in just a minute. But the title for, the, uh, for today's uh, lesson study is simply, uh, Worship Involves Your Whole Life. So it involves your whole life. And so from Romans chapter 12, um, the Apostle Paul writes, and I'm just going to read um, from, uh, this is the um, Christian Standard Bible, and uh, this is what he you know, writes. Therefore, brothers and sisters, in view of the mercies of God, I urge you to present your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true worship. Do not be conformed to this age, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may discern what is good, pleasing, and perfect will of God. Oftentimes people say, well, I want to know the will of God. We can talk about that at a different time. But, but the real focus on this particular, um, in this particular series for this particular week is on the fact of what is worship. And... Um, Paul makes it very clear that worship involves your entire person. It involves every aspect of who you are. Present your bodies, you know. So significant here, he says, present your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true worship. And so what does it mean, first of all, to present your bodies? You know, well, that, that involves every aspect of you. That it involves your, your head, it involves your mouth. Um, how you speak, how you think. It involves your hands. What, what do you do? It involves your feet. Where do you go? You know, there's the old Sunday school song, you know, that, that actually talks about that whole reality of making sure that I, I'm careful what my eyes see, you know, what my hands do, and where my feet go, and what my mouth says, you know. And, um, and, and that is a significant, I mean, based on this particular verse, really, it's a good reminder to us that we need to be careful that we are presenting our bodies, the physical being. God is not just concerned about your soul. And so oftentimes in religious circles, people will talk about the inner being and the, the, the soul and, 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 or the spirit and however they want to talk about that. And they focus on the inner. But God is concerned about the whole person. Because when he sent Jesus into the world, he didn't send him into the world to just save your soul. He sent Jesus into the world to save your whole person. And so that includes your body, that includes your head, that includes your mouth, that includes your hands, your feet, and every aspect of who you are. The other thing that is significant in this verse is that he says, present yourself as a living sacrifice. And, and this is significant because normally sacrifices are, are dead. Right? If we, we, would, we would make a sacrifice. Back in biblical times, they would make a sacrifice of a lamb, and, and they would slaughter that lamb. And in slaughtering it, that, it became a sacrifice at that point. And Paul is saying, but you and me, we are to be a sacrifice that lives, and that we live our lives in such a way that we demonstrate that we are consecrated to God that we belong to him, that we are his, and that we're not our own, that we don't belong to ourselves. He then says that it needs to be holy. And again, holy, the word holy means set apart. It is set apart unto God. I belong to God. This body of mine belongs to God. So I can't just do with it whatever I want. And when I do do whatever I want with this body, then I'm sitting against God, and I'm not worshiping Him. 
And that is significant, a significant part. And then the third, the, the, uh, the fourth thing he says is that so you got to present your bodies, you present them as a living sacrifice, you present them as a holy sacrifice, and then pleasing to God. Pleasing to God. Meaning that you're doing things, good morning, Pum Pum, good to have you with me today. That you're doing things that bring honor to God, the things that God would have you do, not just live however you want. And I think that's where verse 2 comes into this. Because in verse 2 he says, it's, it's about not being conformed to this world. And so if you ask yourself, am I pleasing to God? And ask yourself, am I conformed to this world? Because if you're conformed to this world, if you're living the way the world lives, if you're behaving the world, way the world behaves, then you're not pleasing to God. You know, and that is significant, especially in our day and age today with what we're going, what's going on here with COVID-19 and, and we're back into shutdowns here in Ontario once again and churches are back down to only 10 people starting next Sunday and uh, people are getting all riled up about that kind of stuff. And we have to ask ourselves, are we behaving the way the world would have us behave, or the way the world behaves? Or are we behaving in a way that is truly pleasing to God? It's about changing how we think. It's about thinking the way God would think, rather than about how we would think. And this is significant because, again, in this verse, if, if you say, well, what is worship? <laughs> Romans 12, verse 1 is probably one of the most key New Testament verses when it comes to understanding what worship is. Worship is living a life that brings honor to God. Worship is using my body because God did not just come to save my soul, he came to save my whole person, including my body. It's using my body to glorify him, to worship him, to praise him, to show him that I love him. So today, as you go about your day, ask yourself, am I worshiping God by how I live? By the things that I do, by the things that I say, by the way that I think, by the things that come out of my mouth, by the things my hands do, by the places my feet take me, am I worshiping God? And then may we really present our bodies as living, holy, and pleasing sacrifices to God. May we do that every day for his honor and his glory. Have a great day. I'll see you again tomorrow. May the Lord bless you.